But have you ever seen a robot vacuum cleaner? Branded DGI? Today I'm introducing you to a brand new product that even surprised me. DJI has entered the robot vacuum market, and since this channel has reviewed so many robot vacuums, why would we miss this opportunity? DJI has revealed itself to the public, and as of today, they're already available on the market when you see this video, and this is the DJI Romo in the P version. That's right, three versions have been released, A, S, and P. This is the top of the line version, DJI has already come up with three products of different types and price ranges. Now let's take a look at it, also because it's really unique and you can already get a sense of the design just from the packaging. Let's open it up and then see how it works. So let's see how our DJI is arranged inside the box. Romo, so the base for the robot, where will it go? And now, this is complicated. All right, robot, here it is. Let's set it up. It's transparent. Wow, this view is just amazing. Beautiful. This is a work of art. Now let's grab the base. The base, in my opinion, here it is, inner. Okay, folks. It already looks incredible just to look at. A transparent robot? I've never tried it until now. Is it ready? Is it ready, Pepe? What do you think? Guys, this is a work of art. Let me show it to you first, then. Did you see how crazy this design is? All transparent, built down to the smallest detail. Because if something is gonna be transparent, it has to be beautiful. The P version is the one that has both, let's say the self-cleaning or emptying station, transparent, and the robot. Whereas the A and S versions, which are more affordable, one is completely white and the other only has the transparent robot with a few fewer features. So the DJI robot has an incredible build quality and even the quality of the transparent plastic is top notch. I can't tell you yet about its reliability or long-term durability, but we'll see that here on this channel. The self-cleaning or emptying station is equipped with two tanks, one for dirty water and one for clean water, which serve their purpose. So it has the floor washing function and then the dirty water from washing the mops gets drained. The dirty water tank holds four liters and the clean water tank 3.2 liters, respectively. And they are integrated into the design of this capsule, let's call it that, which has a very futuristic look and already reminds us of some models we've seen here. On the channel, it's kind of egg-shaped. As you can see, even through the transparent parts, you can see the part of the bag that collects the dust. DJI guarantees maintenance every 200 days. You only need to do maintenance once a year. Here we have two slots because you insert the soap here. There's an automatic soap dispenser. And by the way, the P version also has a fragrance dispenser, which we're about to insert now. As you can see, there are two cartridges. So we insert the two cartridges. They're labeled Romop. You just push them in and the device is ready. It's ready to be plugged in, but let me also show you the robot, which has a suction power of 25,000. Pascal, as stated, we'll test it later. Here too, we have something exceptional. Almost everything is transparent, except for the bumper, which is made of matte plastic, as you can see. Every detail is designed to perfection, even the entire wiring section. Look at how it's made here. By the way, we also have the two motors here. This should also be extendable, the two motors for the rotating mops. 
Let me remind you that this DJ comes with two rotating mops, which will actually see an action and check how they work. They're also completely detachable. By the way, you can also see the dust bag, which can be removed, guys. The quality of every piece of plastic is really incredible. And I'm not. I'm saying this because I'm being honest, not just to say it for the sake of it, not because I have to, but just because it's true. But I was blown away. We were all blown away when we saw this product. Every single detail is really well taken care of, and it's equipped with a binocular system. Plus, three LiDAR sensors for navigation. We'll see that in a bit. It can even operate in the dark. Of course, we also have a lifting system for the central part that does the vacuuming, which, as you can see, is separate. We have two silicone rollers that pick up dirt, leaving a bit of space in the center for larger debris. These are the brushes, one of which has an extendable arm. By the way, there are no replacement brushes included in the box, but there are two different brushes. The ones you saw are made entirely of silicone. These, as you can see, also have bristles and a completely different shape, still helical, which obviously allows them to pick up more hair. This one is especially recommended for those who have pets. I downloaded the Giant app, which is available for iPhone and Android. I immediately put the robot to the test. From the very first minutes, I noticed that the Romo P, even though it's a first generation product, it moves very, very well, even in corners and along edges, making use of the right mop. Extendable, as we now see on all top of the line models, and also the front arm, which is the brush. The G Romo Pro also uses a front LED light in dark areas, and it performed very, very well even when vacuuming up crumbs, like, for example, potato chips. Even though it wasn't at maximum power, it still managed to vacuum up 90% in a single pass. The height is around 9 centimeters, the measured one, not just some random spec, which, as you can see, allows this robot to pass through. Thank you easily under TV stands where some others couldn't make it. This is also thanks to the integration. Everything is on the front part and there's no LiDAR turret at all. By the way, the brushes rotate in opposite directions, obviously, to bring everything toward the center. And it's rare for this robot to fling crumbs or anything else far away. For the most part, it manages to vacuum up everything. Also, Look at how perfectly it moves along edges, in corners, and near objects. And even navigating around obstacles doesn't seem to be a problem at all for our DJ Romo pin. Thanks to binocular vision, it still manages to perceive depth well, even when the lighting conditions might be less than ideal. Despite everything, I was still using a preview version of the software, which does have a few bugs. The management of carpets is advanced. You can either avoid them or set up custom actions for each one. Although I have to say that at first I had some issues with my carpet since it detected it as an obstacle. And I had to put it on top of the robot the first time so it could map and recognize that area too. Otherwise, unfortunately, it wouldn't have gone up. It kept trying to avoid it. The suction here is also very powerful on carpets because it increases just like most robots in this category do. In other words, they set the suction power to the maximum. The DJI Romo app is very, very simple, basic, and very intuitive. There aren't a lot of colors. Most of the app's colors are white and gray. You might like it or not, but in any case, it seems to have everything we need. Obviously, there aren't 50,000 levels for water adjustment, but usually just three or four maximum settings, both for vacuuming. But it can vacuum and mop, do both at the same time, vacuum first and then mop, or just vacuum. Keep in mind that it won't detach the mops and leave them at the base. It will always carry them with it, but lift it up. The Romo P also has a smart base station that notifies us in case of problems. By the way, 
it washes the mops with hot water, has drying, and is also very quiet on this device. Additionally, it has the option to activate remote video surveillance, and the features are quite comprehensive. But as for the base, there isn't really anything special, like for example, automatic pet detection, like we've seen on other models. The camera's field of view is really at a very high position, much higher. Compared to all products, even those in the high-end range, it's above average. In the stain test, I even tried putting mayonnaise to create some contrast with the floor so that it wouldn't blend in. But in my opinion, it needs to be updated because you played the stain. I didn't play it. I played the whole stain, even though from the info it looks like I activated it. It saw it, but with light, how will I go about it then? Now, I have to be honest. The robot has good hardware and obviously I'm still thoroughly testing the device because right now I have a version that, in my opinion, the firmware is still a bit raw and needs to be improved in some areas. First of all, as you may have noticed, it detects some stains as obstacles but it also detected the carpet as an obstacle. This, for example, is another cleaning session. It detects the carpet as an obstacle, so the first time to get the carpet mapped. I had to physically move the robot onto the carpet, after which it detected it automatically, and then I was able to apply different solutions. The robot has a mop lifting system and a central roller lifting system but it doesn't have a brush that lifts up. It can only be extended or retracted inside the robot's frame. Good cleaning performance. When I checked the dirty water tank, I found a lot of dust residue that usually settles at the bottom of the container. By the way, the suction is also good compared to many others. Top of the line. It manages to vacuum well even if it sometimes leaves a few small residues. Or for example, in my case, a chip that unfortunately had literally stuck to the floor since during cleaning the floor was very damp. During cleaning, the floor was very wet. In my opinion, the app needs to be improved and maybe more features should be added. All in all, it's simple, but you can tell that the app, in my opinion, isn't quite fully developed yet maybe compared to some other competitors. Or does the AI recognition need to be improved? Even though it has binocular vision and a lot of technology, great navigation, as we've seen with some obstacles, it identifies some stains as obstacles, and so it doesn't clean them. It doesn't apply a cleaning strategy, even though you can select one from the settings. But it sees it as an obstacle, and so it just avoids it altogether. And looking at the map, the robot covers all the areas that we've obviously designated. Of course, you can select a room, a specific area, or a rectangle that it will immediately clean, prioritizing the whole house. Or you can apply different strategies for each of the rooms. From this point of view, really, there's nothing to complain about. Scheduling activities. Managing multi-floor mats. I haven't had the chance to try the voice assistant yet, so I hope to make a video about it. Also because it's only available in English. It's important to remember that the robot doesn't have a lifting system that allows it to get over obstacles of three or four centimeters because it doesn't have a real lifting system, but it still manages to get over small obstacles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. For prices or links to the models, I'll leave everything down below. Let me know what you think, especially if you like the design. And of course, let me know what you think about the fact that DJI has now entered this world too. So there's another competitor in an already crowded tech market. Greetings to everyone. See you next time and remember to follow me.